Hey guys, um, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial. So it might be a lot of uh, struggle and I'm totally not at ease right now, but we're gonna get through it. So let's go. Plus <laughs> ultra. All right, so let's start this makeup session by struggling a bit. That's always what I'm doing. So my first step is basically to just moisturize my face in three steps. So first one is the eyes. You can also apply near um, your mouth and every region are pretty sensible. And then you can use a serum on your skin. It's very important to pat your face so it really goes inside <laughs> your skin. Then the third step is just to put a cream. It's gonna really help to prepare your canvas for makeup. And here I show my three steps. <laughs> Then a wig cap, you can do that first or just after like I did. <laughs> Take a sip of your coffee, that's the most important step. Then you need to put your base on. That's really gonna help also for a long term, like if you go out of car or something, because like your makeup is gonna stay longer. First you use your green for your eyebrows if you're doing deco, that's really the base of this. You can use any palette, color palette, or you can buy something for the eyebrows specifically. If you want it more thick, you can just, uh, yeah, if you want it thicker, you can just uh, use a bit of water. And what I'm doing now is just... Uh, mixing the green with the red it's just a complementary color both together is just gonna be a darker color basically it's just art stuff <laughs> once the eyebrows are done i just go under the eyes and put some concealers to erase all my dark circles or at least try <laughs> i was sick sick that day so yeah, and you can use it also a bit like if you have a red spot or something and it's not like too red that needs to be concealed with a green one, then you can use just your regular concealer. Next step is just to prime <laughs> your eyes. As you can see, I'm kind of uh, <laughs> struggling with that part. I've put too much. So you don't need that much because it's uh, depending on like which one you use. It's pretty thick normally. And it's gonna, once again, help to um, maintain the color. The colors are gonna pop more also. If you do a character that needs to be like a big eyelid work or anything. I use the same thing on like on top of like the eyebrow. So I'm highlighting a bit the arch of my eyebrows with just a bit of concealer and a bit of base. Then you need to blend it. Now I'm going for my Kat Von D palette. And I'll just use a base color. So that's gonna be just like three really pale colors that makes somewhat of a color similar to my skin tone. It doesn't show much, but it's gonna be, it's gonna like really do a difference if you're ever gonna do a smoky eye or anything that is uh, more intense and I just like it to define a bit without being too much out of color since it's a for a boy. Then I go with a slightly lighter color and as I struggle my way through I'm just gonna go and highlight a bit the corner of my eyes. 
and I'll just drag it to the middle of the eyelid. Then with a darker brown, use a fluffy brush and you're just gonna go into the crease and blend. It's very important to blend, mostly with this kind of palette. This one is very pigmented, even though it's very pale and natural. Then I use a kind of highlighter crayon and I go in the corner of the eye again and a bit under to just put a light into it. You can do it with something else like just a regular more shinier eyeshadow but since I, I had this as a gift I just thought it, I would use it for that purpose. It's very pretty. <laughs> then it's eyeliner time. Normally it's my biggest struggle make two lines that are equal, or at least kind of equals. I normally do it thicker, since it's for a boy, but it is like cuter. It's way thicker than when I actually do another character, such as Todoroki, or Bakugo, or anything from that show that are like more masculine, I guess. It's just an interpretation also, just how I like to do my makeup, but there's no like, bad or good ways of doing it. See? Struggle. <laughs> I think I made this like 30 times. So, honestly, don't, don't be afraid to just start again. <laughs> Sometimes you'll have like good days, sometimes you'll have to erase like 30 times for actually having it like somewhat good looking. That was a bad day. Then I just use a small red. It's kind of a, a pinkish red and I'll just go under the eyes. Then it's foundation time. If you're wondering why I haven't done that first, it's to just like not have fallouts everywhere under the eyes. It can get quite messy when you do makeup. <laughs> Next step is to do the highlight and contour of your face. It's gonna be pretty important, mostly if you do boys, but that part is kind of different for everyone since we don't have the same like like our um, like the bone structure of our face is different depending on like everyone basically so this step is kind of just following where you're gonna have like your cheekbones and everything and can change and play with that depending on the characters then you put highlights on your face. I normally just put a bit on the... Just a bit of a highlight on the cheeks, a bit on the nose. Sometimes I go heavier, it just really depends. Then I bought a eyeliner and this eyeliner, I really love it. It has already a like round end which makes it super easy to just like draw the four dots that Deku has on his cheeks. Which, so that's what I'm doing right now. Then don't forget to vibe a bit. And it's blush time. So I used this really cute one that I got at the, the Japanese store. And just put a lot actually on the cheeks. Just dab it on the cheeks. <laughs> now I'm just gonna use a bit of um, lipstick, well actually chapstick and then lipstick. It's very important to moisturize first because I have like really really dry lips so it gets uh, kind of messy if I don't. <laughs> Then just a tiny bit of a very natural pink color lipstick, so it doesn't get too much. 
Then it's the actual highlights. So you know earlier when I would have put on my face, it was quite a just like a highlighter that wasn't like shiny. So this one is just a very sparkly one. That I go once again on the nose, on the cheeks, a bit on the lips, and then on the eyebrows. Under the eyebrows, actually. <laughs> I've, I put it a lot. I love this one. It's very shimmery. Then it's body paint time, which means freckle time. More freckles. <laughs> so this is how you do a more like natural freckle look. Sometimes you can get kind of messy with that technique, but it's very easy and I normally just use body paint, but you can use also bronzer that you put with a bit of water. And yeah, that's a pretty cute and easy way. And then after wig, you're basically done. So that's the final look. Thank you so much for watching.